This video shows how to use the VESC tool to estimate a motor's voltage constant, or the KV. This KV number is the ratio of the motor's RPM to the voltage it generates. If you know the KV and the voltage, you can roughly predict the steady state speed of the motor when it's unloaded. Using a VESC connected to an adjustable power supply, we can adjust the voltage log the data for the motor speed and the voltage, and then plot the relationship between the two. I have the VESC hooked up to a power supply, allowing us to adjust the voltage. I'm running the motor in current control mode, so the motor quickly reaches its top unloaded speed. The controller starts with 20 volts of input voltage. I'll raise it to about 40 volts and then bring it back down. You can see the ERPM increasing as I'm raising the voltage, and you can see it decreasing as I bring the voltage back down to 20 volts. I'm logging this data so we can look at it more carefully and calculate how much the RPM changes as I change the voltage. What we're looking at is a Python Jupyter Notebook that plots the VEST data and shows the relationship between the motor RPM and the input voltage. The first graph shows the voltage increasing and decreasing over time as I adjusted the power supply. The second graph shows the ERPM rising and falling as the voltage rises and falls. The third graph divides the ERPM by this motor's 23 pole pairs to get the RPM of the motor. The voltage and RPM graphs have a very similar shape, so we expect them to be closely related. The blue dots in the last graph show the voltage and RPM plotted together and show a linear relationship. The orange line is a fitted line. We can see that the orange line passes very close to the origin. The slope of the line is the RPM per volt and roughly agrees with the number published for these generic hub motors.